Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back. We're here in uh, Digital Barn in Prescott, Arizona, and we've got Mark Spencer here, and we're going to be looking at Final Cut Pro. Specifically, Mark's going to show us uh, how to replace some watermark music. Yeah, this is something that uh, I saw somebody asking about on one of the forums, and it was perfect because I had just dealt with exactly the situation. And I think probably others of you may have this exact same situation. I think it's a really cool tip on how to do something in Final Cut Pro that can apply way beyond watermark music. But uh, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I have a project here. This is actually a, a commercial I cut recently. And uh, I'm not going to play the whole commercial, but you can see it has a, a soundtrack under here. This, and it says Temp, Take It by Greg Pepper Temp. I actually got this soundtrack from a, a great service that is called Marmoset. Marmoset. Used to, used to be called Etiquette. And it's great for um, you know, life, royalty free music, really excellent music. I've been really happy with them. So I'm, I don't have any vested interests, but well, I, it's great good. because people email me, email me all the time what, uh, what stock music do you recommend? Yeah. You just go. Do you repeat that for them again with Marmoset? Marmoset, okay. M-A-R-M-O-S-E-T. It's fantastic. an unusual name, it's an unusual site, but it's got some really fantastic stuff by indie performers. Anyway, so I had downloaded a track that I thought would work well, and I downloaded because it was free, it's a, you know, it's a watermarked version or it's a low quality version. Uh, and I have it here in the timeline. And I want you to notice I have a bunch of markers on it because I cut to the beat occasionally here in the clip. And I also have it a separate version of it at the end because I didn't want to use the whole song. So I found a way, there's a repeating section that I could cut out a whole section and still match the length of my video by um, cutting it here. So here's the reason I bring all that up. The scenario is I'm working in a managed library. That's part of what we're talking about here, okay? In other words, all my media is inside the library. Copied into the library. Copy in the library, right. So now the client loved the music. Said, I love it, Except it's you, perfect. It's not yours and you don't have the rights yeah. to it. Oops. Well, now I say, okay, so you can buy it and they buy it and they give it to me. So I'm like, okay, now I need to replace the music in my project with the new pristine version. Okay. Right. The Same. non uh, MP3 version. Yeah, yeah. Higher quality one, or maybe it's not watermarked. Some music, when you download, is watermarked. Somebody's going audio jungle, you know, every 10 seconds or something. <laughs> I'm familiar with that. Right. So you might think, oh, okay, I'm just going to import, you know, I'll hit uh, Command I to import, and I'll navigate. I have that music on this drive here, and there it's in a folder called Final Music. So I'll import the whole folder, and I'll import it as a, uh, as a keyword collection. I'm definitely going to copy it into this library because I have I'm using a managed library I don't need proxy media but I'm going to import it as a keyword collection so I can find it easily so I'll import it and then I'll go down here and uh, there's my new clip and you think oh well I'm just going to take that down here and I know I can drag one clip on top of another and I'll choose oh replace from start okay and you think that would be okay but it very well may not. If you've cut your music up like this, if you've moved things around, you're going to end up with some problems. You're going to have to rejigger things. The edits, yes. Yeah, I'm actually going to undo that so we get back to our original file. So I don't recommend replace edit unless you've got this whole clip in place and everything is fine if you haven't cut it up at all. So the next thing you might think is okay, well, why don't we just relink this clip down here? to the, high res the different version. file, the yeah. high-res version. Sure, so you not? think, okay, so if I select that clip, I can right-click on it, I can say, I can say reveal in browser. Okay, and there it is. This is my um, non-high-res version. And then I'll right-click on that, and actually I'll just select it and choose file, and go to relink files. And then it's, well, wait a minute. The file that I want to link to. You copied it, into your library. I copied into the library, and you can't, you can't see into the library. You can't. That's correct. You can't oh, see in the can library. You? Well, you can't. All right. But so you might think you're stuck at this point. Right. But here, it's a, it's a pretty simple solution, but it's not immediately obvious. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to relink this file to the version that is not in the library. In other words, I'm going to take this library version. Let's go this final music. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to hit Command Delete, which will actually move this to the trash and take it out of the library. Okay. So. I'm going to go back to not importing. So my, my suggestion is if you're using managed media and you want to relink like this, don't import first. Okay. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to again select this guy down here, Shift F, Shift F to reveal in browser. 
with it selected up here, I'll say File, and we're going to relink files. And I'm going to choose, this is the file I want to relink, this temp file. And I'm going to navigate to that original external location, you know, before importing. The high-res version on your drive. Exactly. So there it is, Final Music. I'll select this here, and I'll choose it. And it found it, so I'll say Relink Files. And now the new file is here. It still keeps the old name, but if I shift F here, we're taken to the new version. In fact, if we get info on it um, and get the info on it, we can see that this is the new version. Okay, I can based on the file name. So I've relinked to it, but it's outside the library. And I want a nice, tidy library. So Are you going to consolidate? Exactly. So now all I need to do is I'm going to select the entire library and choose File, Consolidate Library Files. And the trick here is make sure I'm con consolidating into this library. I'll say OK. Mm, I guess when I maybe I deleted it, I didn't take it out because it's saying it's already in there because it should, it should then just copy it into the in there. I must, maybe I hit Command Delete, but should have been out of the file because that should definitely say, OK, and then copy it in. But so, it's in there. Now, yeah, it's definitely in the library now. So you can do that as a check. So you can link to it externally and then just consolidate it in. All right, so it's all about the order of things. Yes. That's very important. You don't want to import directly into the library because then you couldn't relink to it because it's inside the bundle. Yes, all right. yeah. And, and that's basically the way of and getting around. And this solves a problem for you. Yeah, and many, I've saw many times I've seen people bring up the idea, hey, I can't link to this thing because it's in the library. Well, either link to it outside the library or move it outside the library and then link to it and bring it in. Yes. So you can easily use a consolidate function to move things in or out. Well, that sounds like an extremely useful tip uh, for people in, that are doing temp music or, or even temp gra graphics too. Absolutely. Uh, so graphics, yeah. I can see a, a lot of useful applications yep. for this thing that you just showed. Yep. So you don't have to use external, because some people really don't like external media. They want to you know, keep it all yeah, self Keep it inside. Okay. Yep. Well, excellent. So another uh, fantastic tip by our friend Mark Spencer. Uh, check us out at Ripple Training uh, on Facebook uh, and our Twitter feed at Ripple Training. And uh, we've got some new stuff coming up in the next few months. You want to check us out. Thanks for watching another episode of Mac Break Studio.